Pro. Hello, welcome to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. Uh, today, thanks to Charles Kellyman, uh, we're going to have a look at Track Archive. Um, so, yeah, Charles messaged me last night and said, look, he's been messing around in Cubase and he's found this really useful feature. Uh, again, it's something I've never really used. Um, I've gone about it a different way, but let's <clears throat> let's show you what it consists of. So basically, I've just got a couple of audio tracks, uh, four group tracks, and my effects channels and a, a pre-master. Now, this would generally be my uh, standard template that I'd open up Cubase with every single time. So let's just now say that we wanted to go back and revisit an old project, uh, but you've moved on so much in the way you produce, and you'd like to use your new template with your old track. So basically, what we need to do is, first of all, select all our tracks so there you go selected all our tracks all the audio all the group all the effects and the pre-master and now all we need to do is go to file export selected tracks uh, copy reference let's click copy and now I'm just gonna um, place them I'll actually place it on the desktop I'll click create new folder and let's click in there click OK so now all that's done is created an XML document uh, within that folder. So now we can close that down. Let's go to File, Open, and I'm just going to pick a really old project here from 2013. Obviously not really old, but uh, you get the idea. Um, wait for that to open. Again, you'll probably get a lot of error messages. You know, if things can't be found. Um, that's fine, we're not going to worry about it too much. So let me just minimise all those out of the way. Um, so here's our track that we're going to work on. So all I'll do now is go to File, I'm going to go to Import and Track Archive. So here's our little XML document. So I'm going to click Open. I'm going to select all tracks and OK. And there you go. There's our two audio tracks, there's all our group tracks, there's all our effects tracks, and there's our pre-master. Let me just select the track. So yeah, there you go, simple as that. So now really what we've got is our new modern template uh, within our old project. So it's probably just now a case of, of routing your, your sounds into your normal groups or your normal effects sends and so on. Uh, so really, really good. Um, you can see, just bear with me, let me minimise my mixer. There we go. So there's our mixer. Now you can see it's actually created on our effects. All our uh, original effects sends and everything are all there, they're all in place. So there's our delay. Reverb. So it's installed all the plugins on the on the effects channels, pretty much uh, as it should be. So same with the groups. There, I've got an air compressor on that group, which was on my original original one. So really great way of actually revisiting some of your old projects and uh, getting on without spending hours. Uh, like I said uh, previous to Charles showing me this way, what I would do would be to open up that old project and then I'd start going through creating a group. Uh, sending my bass to the group, sidechain, creating my effects channel, putting all my inserts on the channel or loading a preset. Um, so brilliant, you know, thanks Charles for, for giving me the heads up on this one. And uh, yeah, hopefully now I'm going to spend probably the next few weeks revisiting my old projects and uh, making them all modern and uh, fresh. So thanks again, don't forget, until next time, if you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.